what we're going to do now is we're going to create 3D text on a path or around a shape. And I think a good one for demonstrating is the ellipse tool. Now, the ellipse tool is going to come up with the floral on it because we've got those uh, previous settings for the stroke and the fill. And just hold the shift key down as you drag out to get your shape in a perfect circle. Let it go. There we have our shape. Move it around, get the selection tool, black arrow, and um, uh, I'm not sure we want those flowers there. We might want an empty. Yeah, that's better. And we might want white because we not, might not want white because we want to see it. So we'll put a pale color, we'll go for this sort of like sky color. And we're not going to have that two pixels, we'll have it 0.75, so it's fairly um, thin. Now we go to the text tool again, and we're going to go down to the type on a path tool option. So we're coming over here, and we haven't got a text selector yet, no font. Let's come up with the one that we used last time. And we need to, um, we might go for something different. It looks a little bit different this time. Something that perhaps renders it a little more simply. One of my friends designed this one, Future Bugler. It's a very simple and elegant font. Um, we do want a stroke. We definitely want a stroke. We might go for a bigger swatch, colour swatch. We might go for a like pale yellow. Screen one, in that one. That looks like the sort of colour I'm after. Not for there, that's the one I want for that. Let's just swap them. And there. And I'd still like to do a pattern for the font. We might go for a daisy this time, we'll go for something else. We'll go for decorative modern. What have we got in decorative modern over here? Mm. Optical checkerboard colour, that should look fairly interesting. And we'll um, do the same text again. Three. It's pretty wild, isn't it? D. text in Illustrator. Oh, it works perfectly there, look at that. Pop the palette out of the way. Um, and I'll grab my selection tool, grab my text, go back up to the effects menu. I wanted to apply an extrude and Bevel, I'll put it out of the way this time, down here, and I'll change this before I put the preview mode in. I'm going to change that to 30, and I'm going to ask for a preview, and it'll start to preview this right away. Wait a minute, have I selected anything? Well, there we are. It's totally different to what you expected, isn't it? That's the um, 3D text typing on a path tool. And with this little interface here, we can actually change the angle of it. I have to re-render that again now, but this font seems to render very quickly. That's a little more realistic for what I was thinking, I think. It's uh, not quite as deep as the other one, but um, when it comes to placing that in something, you've got the three-dimensional text. 
and it's not quite so clumsy because if we were to come across like this and expose the full depth of it, it can be difficult to make it sit in a realistic way in what it's going into. Now, this one seems all right because I think it's because it didn't make the depth too deep. Just flatten it out a bit. There we go. All those little black lines there we've already been trying to draw. And drawing them in yellow seems to be easier than drawing them in red. Okay, well, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click OK to that. And once again, I think it's going to benefit from a drop shadow. So let's come down to Stylize and we'll add a drop shadow. I'm not going to make this one quite as dark, you know, about 55%, and ask for a preview. I think that's great. So we'll go with that. Click OK. It's 8 o'clock. Now, so this one doesn't end up with the same name. We're going to have to save it as a different name. Otherwise, it will overwrite the file that we just created before this. Great. And we're going to go File, Save as, 3D Text on Path. Save that to the desktop as well. And there we have it, 3D text in Illustrator. And you can import that into Photoshop. You can import it into After Effects, into Flash. We'll go into all sorts of other Adobe configurations. So that's it. We can just go File, Close. And we can close the Illustrator program. And that's it. Thank you for watching.